Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'm going to respond to a question from one of our subscribers asking us to explain the difference between the PE Civil Water Resources and Environmental Depth Option versus the PE Environmental Engineering Exam. Let's jump right in. If you are considering a career in environmental engineering and you want to pursue your professional engineering license, which I hope you do, you may be stuck deciding which professional engineering exam to take. You could either take the PE civil exam with a water resources and environmental depth option, or you could take the PE environmental engineering exam. The National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Survey, also known as NCEES, does offer both options. So how will you decide? Firstly, consider looking at the specifications of each exam, which you can find on the NCWS website. By doing this, you will see that the PE environmental engineering exam topics include water, air, solid and hazardous waste, site assessment and remediation, environmental health and safety, and associated engineering principles. For the PE civil exam with the water resources and environmental depth option, you would find that the PE civil exam breath section topics include project planning, means and methods, soil mechanics, structural mechanics, hydraulics and hydrology, geometrics, materials, and site development. While the water resources and environmental depth option includes analysis and design, hydraulics, closed circuits, hydraulics, open channel, hydrology, groundwater and wells, wastewater collection and treatment, water quality, drinking water distribution and treatment, and engineering economics analysis. Once you examine the specifications, identify the number of topics on each exam and then consider how many of these topics you are familiar with or comfortable with. The one that contains more topics that you feel comfortable with will probably be the best exam to choose. The other alternative to consider is that your state may or may not require that you take the exam in the area that you intend to practice. This means that you could potentially take and pass the civil PE transportation exam and still practice environmental engineering so as long as your state permits that approach and you are competent in environmental engineering. So please check your state's requirements in making this decision. And lastly, another approach you can take if your state doesn't require that you test in your field of choice is to consider the passing rates of each exam and select one with a higher passing rate. Now for a video on the passing rates of each of the PE civil exams, we provided a link in the comments. I hope you found this week's video helpful. Choosing your exam is an important choice. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish here weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered.